Hey everyone, this is Manly Badass Hero, and welcome to Midnight Midnight, which is a horror game from the creator of The Man from the Window, where you play as a maid cleaning service that must clean out a mysterious mansion. Okay, but really, it makes sense. First you replace a single plank on the ship, then another. And you keep going until everything has been replaced, and nothing from the original ship is left. Then you ask, is it still the same ship? And if not, when did it stop being the ship of Theseus? Oh my god, it's a... Uh, are you an ant or a cockroach or what? Oh no, there's people who are bugs in this unit. All the animals are covered. Wouldn't it be easier to just build a new ship instead of going through all that? Roof, that's not the point. It's a thought experiment. But if you ask me, Theseus needs to quit thinking so much and go stop his ship from being dismantled. Maybe that's the point of all this. Don't get distracted by silly little details when someone's out to get you. I don't... I think we're getting off track here. Oh! Hold on, my phone's going off. Shoot. What's wrong? Our two o'clock just cancelled on us. Oh. Why's that? I'll read her message for you. Okay, so... Gotta cancel the appointment. Owner found out and isn't happy. So she'd rather clean the place herself. And that was our last appointment for the month, too. There was one more we could do. No, we're not doing that one. But we have to do something here. If I miss one more payment, they're going to take the van. Then that's the end of the Midnight Mains. And I don't think Ivor has wants to start looking for a new career at this point. Roof, you're killing me, I swear. Oh, come on now. We don't even have to clean the place. Just move a few boxes and drop them off afterwards. We'll be in and out before you know it. Let's go. That's a Naomi I know. We'll be there in no time. Zzz, zzz. I'm a bug. God, I can't get over you being a bug. What are, are you a hybrid? What are you? I'm already getting bad vibes from this place, man. I'm not too thrilled about it either. The sooner we get started, the sooner we can get out of here. Well, you're a bird, I guess. Like a harpy. So this is a monster universe, not like an animal universe, actually. I know, I know, it's just... It's like every game we find out like more lore about this world. <laughs> Alright, what's first on the agenda? Like last game we had like amphibians? I'll check. The estate has been sold and the previous owner's possessions are being auctioned off tomorrow. We hired some movers, but they unexpectedly left a few hours into the work and haven't replied back yet. The previous owner is currently unavailable, so I need to finish up the job. All you need to do is pack up whatever items are still left and drop it all off at my place. You have more empty boxes than you'll need to use. You may put any unneeded ones back on the bench. Sounds easy enough. You send them a message and let them know we're here. I'll start packing up here near first. So I'm playing... I'm playing the bug. Yeah, I, I... I don't think you're a hybrid. Well, it depends on what you consider harpies, but I, I think you're just like an actual harpy. By the way, they sent some instructions for this room. Pack up the books. Pack up the old letters. Pack up all the papers. There are more instructions for the other rooms here. Just talk to me if you want to hear them, okay? Okay. So, let's see if I'm interpreting the map correctly. X would be... the entrance, where we are right now. Then there's a bunch of rooms way in the back, and then, yeah. Okay. There's a lot of files around here. Well, let's clear things out. Hey, Naomi. 
Yeah? Why is there a pile of doors here? I think I read something about the new owner being allergic to bronze. Like that's why they had all the doors taken off or something. A bronze allergy. How strange. Clean it up. Clean it up. Clean it up. This is pretty easy, actually. Oh, wait, there's. I forgot about there's one back here. There we go. That's this room taken care of now. I better go ahead and take this box in out to the van. Be right back. Sure thing. Maids. You got it made. Who's that? Oh, hey, Roof. You didn't tell me that the old homeowner would be here. He's gonna be almost half to death when he showed up. Are you, are you the person who, like, from the last game? Well, your facial hair is a little bit different, so no. Terribly sorry about the fright, madam. Though I do have a question I feel must ask. Your attire suggests you're here for work. Please tell me. Has something happened? My friend and I were contracted to move things out before the new owner shows up. New owners? So we finally lost the estate then. I should have known. But never mind that. I must suggest you two return in the morning. Things take it to very, very strangeness out of this late hour. Tomorrow? I can't do daylight. And I'm nocturnal. Oh. So we only work at night. Besides, if we don't finish this job tonight, we don't get paid. I see, I see. Well, we can't have that. In that case, you'll need to keep a close eye out for my father doing your work. The man has his fair share of demons in life. In his current state, he's only gotten worse. But don't worry. The lights in his mansion tend to react to the energy he gives off. If they begin to glow blue, then you know that he's on his way. I'm sure you'd like to know what you should do at that point, right? Well... A family such as ours has a share of enemies. Because this, every room in this mansion has a secret alcove that can be used to hide inside. My father has long since lost the presence of mind to check these hiding spots. So you should be safe therein. I wish I could tell you that he's not as bad as he seems. But he is. So it's best that you just avoid him outright. I'll leave you both to get back to your work. Just pretend I'm not even here. I'd like for the record to show that I'm not okay with any of this. Naomi, hush. We'll be fine. Thank you for your help, sir. We appreciate... It? He's left already. Whoa! He sure is a strange one. And the underestimate of the Year Award goes to... What's up? Check time. 2 a.m. Time limit? It's like it's a hard time limit or a symbolic one? Hmm. Okay. So we need a new box. Let's go. So, one would not be able to tell now, but our dining room used to be the, quite the grandiose side. All men of patricians had graced this room. Though I sometimes wonder if they would still have visited had they known what truly went on here. Oh god. Blue, 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 where's he? That's an alcove. Okay, so it's a, uh... 
I see. You gonna help at all? I mean, I appreciate you, like, holding a light up, I guess, but, like, you can do a little more than that. Whoop. Whoop, 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 whoop. Leave me alone, I'm just trying to take your stuff. Oh dear, I don't think I can carry anymore. Take this box out to the van. Oh no. I'm wondering if you're safe out towards the van then if the ghost comes. Hello? You both seem to be quite adept at this. That other group of movers had already turned tail and ran by now. Cleaning houses is usually our specialty, but sometimes we have to take other jobs as well. And then I got dragged in some insane situation just because we need the money. Like last month, we almost got buried alive in the church basement. How does one end up in a predicament like that? Good question. Maybe it's because someone accepted without reading the entire job description. It said ground baking worked in it. How was I supposed to know? Do you see what I have to go through? My, my. You two sure are something else. I wish we had more help like you during my time. And where are my manners? I never introduced myself. My name is Joseph. Joseph Amanda. Hmm. Was it, was it her name like J? Amanda? I'm Naomi. She's Roof. It's an honor to meet you both. I don't mean to delay you, really. It's just nice to finally have someone to talk to after all this time. I'll let you return to your work. It could just be like a descendant too, like, you know. They were like JP Vermander. But yeah, I can know I got a new box. I I forgot like I felt like I, did, I forgot to kill Oh god. Everyone in the boat I'm curious the time limit on that. It's kind of useful, like, to crouch while I'm doing this. It's so I can, like, see the fire from an angle. I hope this is, like, the only, like, room with, like, a lot of small, tedious things. Oh, no. It's gonna take a lot of van trips. Ghost! Since it says 224, it may be a, uh, a true time limit. Get a new box. Like I said, I'm hoping the kitchen's like the most tedious one. Because it just has a lot of spawn knickknacks. Okay, we all clear. Good. Wait, 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 back in the hole. Okay, let's go to the next room. Many a thankless meal has been prepared in this room. While I, of course, did my best to respect the help, 
Now there wasn't always so accommodating. God forbid you quickly cooked a meal one of one of those bad days. The ashes contained in that oven aren't just from the wood, you know. Oh. Put the box in the box. We're good. Uh... You want me to clean this room too? Oh dear, I don't think I can carry anymore. Awkward. Very awkward. I wouldn't be surprised if these turn blue... Pretty soon. There we go. Stack of boxes, get a new box. Be alert for... I'm gonna check the map. Uh, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. It looks like there was like a long hallway loop around the map. Like it, it like completely circles around kind of thing. So yeah, we went there, we cleared this. Cleared that. Got cleared the uh, evil room and there's another one there. Okay. Let's work on that evil room. <laughs> and this is the room where I summon Satan. On weekends, of course. And that boy knows how to party. So, work from this way. So that way I can see if things are going down. But all the stuff in the, the uh, evil room really like taking my box real fast. Who's been cleaning my evil summoning room? I sure hope it's not a bug maid. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Another box for the box stack. You always do this. It's getting rather late. Which means I should probably tell you about Cornelius. Who? A long time ago, he used to be one of my father's servants. A true paragon of a butler. I have one bad word to say of the man. But one cold January morning, a terrible blizzard arrived. You and I both know how rare snow is here. The entire town was shut down. Our family had absolutely everything one might need in an emergency. Food, water, and enough firewood to last for days. Her father wasn't happy. For, me for the man was accustomed to reading his newspaper every morning. Given the conditions outside, the paper obviously could not be delivered that day. But instead of occupying his time doing something else as a sane person would, he sent poor old Cornelius out to retrieve the morning paper from town. Father didn't even have the decency to give the man a winter coat to use. He just sent him out wholly unprepared. Suffice to say, Cornelius didn't return. The man met his untimely demise out there in all the ice of the snow. And now something appears outside every night, just past the gate. So the man used to be... Cornelius. I do not know what happened to him out there in that blizzard, nor do I know what he wants. But when you venture outside, be sure not to stay out there for too long. Otherwise, you may very well up face to face with him. Hmm. So outside's not safe anymore. Anyway, let's go finish off the evil room. Uh, the ones that might take a little tricky, unless they don't have much stuff in them, they could be the back rooms, because it looks like there was a lot of them back there. It's like, uh-oh. 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 Get in, get in, get in, get in.
We have not encountered you face to face yet, and I'm going to keep it that way. All right, let's clean out the evil. Who's been cleaning out my evil? Okay, this room's done. There's another room to the north. Oh, hide away, hide away, hide away. So the bot looks like boxes stack in our right hand, and then items go in the left with like the box we're carrying. Can I carry two boxes? Like, I mean, like empty ones. Let's go this way. Curious, what's going on there? This is where the, like the mini rooms are, right? Well, this layout's confusing. Where is the safe room? Right there. Well, it's over here. No, I'm not quite sure my layout. Okay, we did a full loop around. Oh boy, oh boy, there's evil out there. Okay, so I could carry two boxes worth of stuff to pack stuff. I should make it a little faster for some things. Oh god. I'm assuming the catch is if I'm carrying two empty boxes, I can't carry like the large item full box stuff. Possibly, I could be wrong. Okay, and there should be some rooms in this area. Oh, scary. No, I'm able to carry these. Okay. Well, we're... We're good at carrying stuff. Oh, you can't see candles in here very easily. Whoops, go back in. Okay, so, yeah, I see what's going down here. Small room. The box boxes are going to be, like, tedious. So we shouldn't carry an empty box if we're going to carry the box boxes. Because I guess you can carry so many boxes, and it could be any mixture of... Hi. This mansion's been our family for generations, you know. Every my father finally met his end, everything went to me. During my time, I tried my best to correct the past sins of my family. They helped retreat fairly for once. 
I lowered the prices on all of our properties. They even tried returning all those liberated artifacts we used to keep down in the basement. Okay, so you are the, the main character, just your facial is a little different. Well, the name antagonist from the last game. I was well on my way to pulling our family name out of the mud, you know. But then somehow, Father became so enraged by my actions that he brought himself back from the dead to stop me. To be honest with you, I wasn't even that surprised. He broke just about every law he could while still alive. Breaking universal laws was the next logical step. Small things or just boxes? We may be done with the small stuff. So yeah, the kitchen was the, uh... Hardest room. Making that. Boxes. Boxes. I think this is like a long hallway down here. Maybe some stuff we can carry around in here. There's the secret door. Boxes. Oop, 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 oop. Go away. Yeah, I haven't found, found any small items anymore. Um, I think we're done with the small items now. Let's go back and bank what we got. Stop flying boxes. <laughs> claims this box isn't full. We'll have to hide anyway. Look at the map. So yeah, this is all cleared out. Um, there's one room we didn't really go into that could have the remaining amount of small stuff. Yeah, here we go. A vast selection of tomes and books used to be housed in this room. We collected it all over generations. So much knowledge. Yet somehow, despite it all, we still weren't clever enough to save ourselves. Go, 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 go! Inspector Gadget! Hoo hoo! Okay, we might need, uh... So that's one that's full. Let's pick up some normal boxes on the way out. Excuse me! Excuse me! Excuse me! I'm gonna wait till those turn blue. Arms are full of boxes. You know what the problem was? I was thinking of ourselves like with human anatomy too much. But it's like, oh no, we're, we're a bug. We have lots of arms. <laughs> it's super strength. Okay, that's cleared out. I'm just gonna take like one box per uh, thing. We gotta hide.
I have one final thing to tell you both. I'd rather keep this particular story to myself, but for your own safety, I must tell you of Agatha. Agatha used to be part of the help, like Cornelius. She too was an exemplary servant. Throughout our time here, both she and I grew close. Very close. I think I remember Agatha. And despite knowing full well the impact it would have on my family's social status, I asked her to marry me. He also apparently got really buff. She and I then planned to elope and run away together. I didn't care that I was giving up my inheritance by doing so. I only wanted us to be together. But the night before we were to make our escape from this awful place, Father found out. Again and again I asked him, Where is she? And what have you done? He eventually answered me, though sometimes I wish that he didn't. He told me that she was under the floorboards, where she belonged. Then he went on about his day, reading his newspaper and having his breakfast like nothing happened. Agatha didn't deserve to end up like this. She'll probably wake up soon. Did you see the cow suddenly go out? You'll know she's in the same room as you. You know, I still try to talk to her, but she never responds. I don't think she recognizes me anymore. She just runs away if I even look at her. Ah, uh, What? Yeah, this is gonna be interesting. So do we have to hide from Magatha? Ooh. Well, there is a cutscene. But there's blue lights, so it could just be an overlap. Oh god! Jump scare! Four. Maybe Agatha just turns out the lights so that it's... I think I saw something in the distance. So that way... It's hard for you to determine if the, um, the father is going. So one more box of these will do it. Watch the lights. Okay. No, 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 go back, go back, go back. Okay, we have room for some uh, normal already packed boxes. Hello, bye. What was that? It was like a scary thing in the quarter. So it should be like one more box for small things, and then uh, it's just a run for like the packed boxes. Of which there's quite a bit of them. Okay. Let's do this. Yep. Just a lot of packed boxes.
Gotta go hide. Uh oh, we just saw what it looked like because of the mirror. That's a that's a neat little trick. That's a clever trick. Because of the mirror, it's one of the few instances you get to see the uh, the dad. Okay, we good. Oh, pack up the candle. Ooh. Yeah, okay. So the, um... It's like one of those things, like, if you see the lights go, you might as well just hide. Because the dad's, like, not too far behind. We good? Okay. Now it's just all the small boxes. Well, pre-packed boxes. They're all kind of small boxes. One in there. Okay. Gotta hide. Oh, ho, 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 ho! I like it. I like it. The game's really picking up. Well, anyway, for the most part, this entire area is, like, cleared out, so... I'm not sure what's uh, the faster way to hit the back rooms. I'll like pop a look at that map real quick as I'm like coming back out. Whoop! Whoa, those are. They look kind of like Foxy. <laughs> I don't think Agatha is a true threat though. If that is Agatha, it could just be a wolf. I mean, they're just spooky. Like I said, they knock out the lights, so you have slightly more or less warning that the dad's coming. Cornelius we haven't seen, but we have to, like, stay out here. Like I said, that, that looks like it'd be an anti-camping measure. Okay, yeah. So just literally start... I think we can attack this from the left side. Instead, now. There's, like, one box in here. I'll grab it and hide. It's gonna take multiple trips to do this, though. Grab that one, that's two. We'll hit up the basement. We're clear. Wait, 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 this way, this way. May not be able to make it to a room in time. Woof. Yep, there, there the uh, Agatha is. Just like, do you help me at all? Wow, it's hello. Four forty six. We have plenty of time. Oh, 
these off. We're getting there. We're getting there. Okay, basement and two back rooms. Whoop, 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 whoop. Oh, yeah, Agatha. Whoa, you, you scared me more than any monster. Kind of doing some teleport behind you stuff. Okay, we clear. We good. We die. Leaving already. Oh, no, I guess we don't have to like bring the last set of boxes. It just you automatically win. Yep, we're all done here. Thankfully, no offense, my guy, but your house creeps me out. <laughs> I suppose you're right about that. This place does give off quite the oppressive atmosphere. Still, I'm going to miss it. This is the only home I've ever known, you know. It's high time for me to move on. There's no point in haunting this place a moment longer. For our time here is over. Because you moved all our stuff out. I have to thank you both for helping me realize that. Without you here, I suppose I would never have talked myself through my own issues. You're very welcome, dear. Honestly, this is nothing new for us. We usually just tack on another 50 bucks to the bill when we help someone's spirit move on. I expect nothing else from the midnight mains, I suppose. It's been fun. Goodbye, my friends. What do you think you're going? You're not going anywhere, boy. You know what, father? No. I'm done with you. My whole life has revolved around you. I spent the entirety of my youth trying to best to please you. You only thought of yourself. And I spent the rest of my short time here trying to vain to atone for your evil deeds. I refuse to let you ruin my afterlife as well. That's it. No, Agatha... So I checked again. So I, the secretary was Hannah. Agatha wasn't in the Elder game. So that also makes you still wonder, like, so are you JP Vermander? I mean, it would link up with, you know, the good ending of that one. Or are you just a number of matter? <laughs> it sure took you long enough to come around, Joey. Agatha, you still remember me. Why haven't you said anything until now? I was waiting for you to finally stand up to the big oaf. I thought giving you the sound treatment for a while might help you figure it out, but no. Well, better late than never, I suppose. Exactly. Now come on. Let's finally leave this place behind. Yes, we must depart at once. You wouldn't dare. Well, it's Jeremiah's... the Remander. Um, but Remander, like, redeemed themselves at the end in the true ending, so... Mm -hmm. Unless... unless the, uh, the true ending, the best ending is not canon, and it's like the, the halfway ending... You wouldn't dare. What a bet, old man. No, my son ran away with an animal person. Damn you, Zootopia! This is your fault. If you didn't listen to him ramble on, he'd still be here with me. You're gonna pay for that. Cornelius? Ah, there you are, sir. Here's that newspaper you wanted. I asked for this paper years ago, you useless idiot. Not even a thank you, huh? Well, that's quite all right, sir. I brought you something else as well. Would you like to know the weather forecast? Is it rain or the side of ass kicking? What? The weather forecast, sir. 
There's a heat wave coming. I thought you should know. Huh? What is this? No! Damn you puns and jokes. I will not go yet. My legacy, I must preserve it. Ah. Righto. Now that's finally sorted, I better take my leave as well. Stay safe out there. Cornelius really had a bone to pick with Jeremiah. Never a dull moment, huh? Not by a long shot, my dear. Not by a long shot. So Victor's was like a one ending game, but there's probably some game over bad ends we could probably get. So we'll go back and um, get those. Oh, so he is out here. What's your function? Cornelius had patiently waited many years for his revenge. In his current state, his vision was extremely limited. And upon seeing two figures outside the manor, he reasoned one of them must be the one he searched for. So he lunged. However, neither figure turned out to be the one he searched for. So he offered up an apologetic gesture, then promptly slinked off back into the night. Both Naomi and Ruth were unharmed, although a fair amount of time had been wasted in the incident. Ah, so it's not a hard... Whoa, ho, ho! Yeah, it's not a hard game over. At least Cornelius isn't, anyway. Yeah, anytime you sway out here longer, Cornelius comes out. Alright, let's see what happens if we just let the dad see us. We should no other acceptable alternatives than Midnight Maid's friendship into a place brimming with bad omens. Though this was nothing new for the duo, one's luck can only be tested so many times before the worst eventually happens. The insane and stark unresolved secrets proved to be finally too much. A mansion of a closet already full of skeletons now added two more into its grim history. Six restless spirits now reside therein. So the father said you just die. Okay, this is, I think, us running out of time. Do it worked throughout the night, right up until the last moment. However, they were unable to meet their agreed-upon deadline. As the clock struck six, the new homeowner arrived angry that the mansion was in the previously promised condition. The pair promptly left, leaving the disgruntled homeowner behind to deal with an untidy home and four restless guests. They were not paid for their efforts. Though they left the mansion unscathed, they were unable to find more work before the month's end. And the Midnight Maid's van was repossessed soon after. Every, like, ending in these, this series is just, like, working class people just get messed up. Having no way to continue their work, the two part ways. They both eventually land new dead-end jobs and make ends meet. Despite the inherent danger of being the Midnight Maids, they both truly miss their time working together. So, that's it for Midnight Maid Night. We have a new entry in the whole working class animal demon world saga. And this time we were maids. So we've been working at a diner, we've been maids, we've been nurses, and we've been a mom. And like the other games, this dev's, this dev's kind of a, a funny dev. I don't mean that in a negative sense or anything or an insulting way. I just mean in the sense that um, their dialogue actually isn't that bad. Like it's actually pretty decent a lot of times when they do their actual writing. It's a little like campy, but like it is a very down to earth style to it. And they try to make interesting, like, gameplay structures. Like, it's not just a linear, traditional kind of horror game or anything like that, or a walking sim. And all the games have featured working class kind of people. So, aside from endings where, like, you get abducted by, like, a demon or something like that, most of them involve, you just don't make ends meet. Like, things just don't work out for you. So that's real unique and interesting as far as horror games go. Uh, obviously, this developer is iconic for their 
graphical and artistic style, and it seems to be evolving every game. I'll kind of leave it at that. Uh, but it's interesting. I'll say that this one has a slower start than some of the other ones. When this one started getting going towards the end, when, like, little things started happening, it was actually doing some pretty smart things, I saw. Like, like I said, like, just the fact you really can't ever see the monster, like, it just kind of kills you most of the time. Uh, the only, like, really glimmer you have is that one, like, little jump scare when you open the door, and if you, like, hide in the mirror, the bathroom, and I feel like that's, there's, a, there's some intelligence behind that choice. So I thought that was a little bit clever. But yeah, slower start. The one of the fastest start as far as gameplay obviously is the man from the window because it's very short. And then the nurse one. And I think I've mentioned before that I really like I like the mechanics that they do when all the mechanics have been introduced. When they haven't been fully introduced, it's like a little bit slower, right? But when they're all there, then you kind of see like the magic kind of start happening. And then the atmosphere works for what it's trying to do. So I would still maybe want to see that kind of kick in earlier. But yeah, I think that's about all I can add as far as uh, post-video commentary. Anyway, so thank you for watching play Midnight Maid Night. I'll see you guys later and take it easy.